we pick the soil from this um, farmland and the deep forest, it all uh, it already contains glucose. And the soil the plant microbial fuel cell technology was produced from electricity generated bacteria like Escherichia coli and Pseudomonas aeruginosa. The students also use soil samples from ponds, farmlands, and forests. Jane Tohima and Kansa is one of the students that worked on the technology. Our project is about plant microbial fuel cell technology for renewable energy creation. And it's all about using plants to generate electricity. And not only plants, but bacteria from soil. And in our project, we use soil from the deep forest, the pond, and also farmland. And our project, we can use it to charge our mobile phones, our small fans, calculated and even use it to light our LED. Nickname G Pana, meaning Jama Pensan Powerhouse. The technology is housed in a rectangular structure. Both the plants and soil containing the bacteria are packed together in a number of booths connected with electricity wires expected to facilitate reaction to generate the electricity. Kristolav Mogo Arthur, another team member, explains the scientific principle employed. We use the principle based on the redox reaction and we use the um, photosynthesis. During photosynthesis, what happened? The glucose, amount of glucose stored and the bacteria feeds to generate electricity. That's the idea we use generally. So that's uh, how we came about generating our electricity, which is capable of charging our mobile phone, as you can see here, and as my colleague said already. Charger connected. As you can see here, it's charging. Chemistry teacher Frank Ajakum, together with other tutors from the school's science department, led the team to put together the technology. You have to use bacteria and not all the types of bacteria. We have those that are capable of generating electricity and others that cannot do that. And so we came out with this innovation, uh, dividing our chambers into MFCs. Uh, that are required to add up voltages in series to get a total voltage required to generate certain uh, electricity to power certain electrical devices such as mobile phones. So it's a new technology in Ghana that has been started by our school, Jama Pensen Senior High School, and we wish to take it forward to the next level. You can charge it as long as the bacteria are present. Mr. Jakum says with the necessary support, it can be scaled up to generate power for establishments. We have to package in this way, but if you should go outside to the environment, then it means that we can use trees that are at the middle of streets. We can mold our principal or our project underground with some electrodes to generate electricity to power, I mean, the street in Ghana. And so it is also environmentally what friendly. I mean, no, I mean, kind of toxic gases or greenhouse gases are being what evolved. Renewable energy is contributing to less than 10% of Ghana's energy mix. With just about 200 Ghana cities, this technology can be produced for households. Since we are using uh, plants, that means that we are, our project is contributing to afforestation. If you want to build it in your house of gar gar garden or farmland, that means that you need more plants to build a setup there to generate electricity. If you do that, that means that it's not going to cost you much. Depending on the wood you want to use, if you want to use local wood, uh, plywood to mow the setup, it will cost you less than uh, 200 Ghana cities. The school is looking at financial and technical support to scale up the innovation for commercial adoption. Prince appears report for Joy News.